are Austin. Getting older shouldn't have to be painful, but for millions of Americans, that is a reality because of preventable diseases like osteoporosis. Lucky for us, though, Dr. Trubeck with ARA is here to share a bit more about how we can be educated and also prevent some of these things. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me back. So when we talk about osteoporosis, what exactly does that entail? So osteoporosis is something we will all experience. It's just a weakening of our bones as we age. Okay. Time. And, you know, so who everybody is kind of most at risk for that? What population? Well, everybody is at risk. Typically, women are at a higher risk okay. than men. So over the age of 50, uh, one out of two women will experience a fracture from osteoporosis. Wow. Now, men will have a lesser incidence of it, but still, one out of four men will also have a fracture after the age of 50 mm -hmm. in their lifetime from an osteoporotic you know, fracture. So, so it's something really important for everyone to be knowledgeable absolutely. about. So how do you figure out if you are suffering from osteoporosis? Well, visit your doctor, of mm -hmm. course, and uh, they'll review all the issues, if you may have any. And if there are concerns that your physician may have, he'll order what's called a bone densitometry examination. Okay. So, so we're looking at some pictures of those right now. These okay. are scans of different bones. Correct. And so what will happen is you'll come in, lay down on the table, and we'll take x-rays of your, of your hip or your spine, mm -hmm. typically both, and then we'll do a calculation and see how dense your bones are. And if your bones are, don't have a normal density for your age, you're at a higher risk for potentially breaking a bone. Gotcha. So, so then where do you go from there? How do you stay healthy if you know that you're in that right. category? Well, of course, the, the typical recommendations try to lead a uh, healthy lifestyle, mm -hmm. be active, weight-bearing exercises, visit your doctor, and if you are diagnosed with osteoporosis, there are medications that can be offered. Oh, okay. um, there are exercises that can be offered, you know, lifestyle modifications and, and medications to take, and then certain medications to avoid because there are a group of medications that will predispose you to... Hmm. Um, to getting osteoporosis earlier right. on. Right. So what I imagine is most important then is that preventative Correct. outlet. Okay. So can you go through those again? Is, I mean, healthy lifestyle, but is there something specific to keep in mind there? Sure. And, you know, these are, for, for the younger patients out there, it, the more active you are early on in life and build bone mass, like if you want to start w lifting weights and running and walking and exercising, that will strengthen your bones now for later on in life. This is good advice, yes, Dr. Yes. Trubeck. So, Some of us might need to be keeping this in mind, strong, myself strong. included. So, so it really does pay off to put in that time now. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, good to know. And then ARA, you guys are addressing these issues 24-7. Tell us a bit about your practice. Right, so so basically when you go visit your physician and they, they're they concerned about osteoporosis, they'll refer, refer you to us, you'll come in lay down on this table and, and it's an open machine and they'll put a device over the certain body part that we're going to be imaging. Mm -hmm. It's a very quick examination um, and it's painless in and out. Good so, to hear. Painless yeah, is always what yes. we want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so people can find you online or pick up the phone and give you a call. Austin Correct. Radiological Association. Lots of good tips and info. Dr. Trubeck, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, stay healthy, you guys. There's the info you need. AUSRAD.com. Jordan, over to you. Well, ties and coffee mugs